So what is Populous? Populous is a media technology platform. Basically, we create boost uh, and boost um, independent information from key influencer through a multi-platform scenario, social, mobile, web, to provide to the user a high quality content uh, and vertical content. Basically, we have hundreds of websites in seven different languages, ma mainly focused on fashion, cars, uh, lifestyle, sports, and technology. We have around 35 million uniques across Europe and Brazil. Uh, Brazil is uh, our faster growing country at the moment. We passed from 1 million, eight, uh, uh, 1 million 800,000 users in January to 6 million and a half uh, on last data of May. Uh, but of course also Europe is growing uh, faster in, in ma mainly in the northern region. Um, Populis has won several awards. We are run uh, still since uh, 2004. Uh, last year we were the faster growing technology company for Deloitte uh, in Ireland, where is our headquarter, but in seven in Europe. How the business started, what is the concept on back? Well, basically, we analyzed there are three types of information online. There are breaking news that are more for uh, traditional journalism, the vertical information, where we are more focused on, and the info practice. This is going from number of a restaurant to how to tie a tie. And peop how people are consuming the information. 50% of the users are searching for something. 30% of the users are going directly on a site, and 20% of the users in growing, they are sharing an information to Twitter, Facebook, etc. And the content is created as for the breaking news from the traditional journalism, from the vertical content, from the key influencer, for semi-professional people, they are very strong expert, they have their follower, and uh, their strong opinion on what they're writing, and, and a strong buzz from their information, and the info practice mainly from the uh, UGC, so user cre creating content. Well, Populis is focused on verticals in different countries, creating strong brands, locals, that we distribute through social search and with strong direct traffic and also, of course, mobile, and we create content through this semi-professional network of uh, key influencer. This is our, the main category I was uh, mentioning before, so cars, fashion, technology, lifestyle, and sport. And uh, the way we are creating our business is we have a strong only operated cr content creation, so we have thousands of bloggers that we really pay for the content they are creating. And, but also, since last year, since the acquisition we did in Germany from Mocono, uh, we are aggregating third parties uh, uh, content, and we are providing a, f a full suite of products to the main independent bloggers to monetize the traffic, to receive more traffic, to have analytics on the traffic they're receiving, and uh, um, to adapt their uh, uh, content to a multi-platform, so to, uh, to distribute their content through social and mobile. Why we are doing that? Because this has allowed us to be a unique player and uh, on across Europe and Brazil to contact directly the influencer that are working for us through our own operated or are independent, but we are aggregating their content uh, and pro uh, allow the brands to work directly more and more with the, the bloggers. We, mm, the very important thing what we sh we're seeing more and more now is completely switch from content distribution from a search as was last year to social and mobile as this year. Uh, more than 20% of our content uh, readers are uh, using our content through mobiles. iPad, 10%, and 10% uh, uh, between Android uh, and uh, um, iPhone. And this changed completely the way you are showing the content, and also through the, through the social, that now reach more than 20%, is a completely different approach. Well, often the, the independent bloggers doesn't know how to use this data. And what we are doing is aggregating this data to also help them to mo better monetize. This is our financial. Uh, we are talking about tens of millions of uh, revenues, so we are not disclosing the numbers. So we used to be listed uh, in Paris for three years, and we delist the company, so we are break private. Me and my business partner, we own 80% of the business. 15% is a French VC named Truffle Ventures, and 5% are employees. 
where we are focused now more and more is to increase uh, the uh, EBITDA margin on the revenues. And this is our target for 2014 to achieve the 59%. What's next? I was mentioning the change of the content. As you know, all platform, for all platform, content is the food because Google, Twitter, Facebook, without content would be empty. We leverage on the content they are creating. But we see also the needs of the users are changing more and more. If you are passionate about fishing in the Bay Area, maybe you want to receive information about fishing in the Bay Area. But today, or you're receiving a push content from someone on Facebook of your friends that have the same passion from you, or you're following people on Twitter, but it's not true that they are talking only about the subject of your interest. Or you're searching on Google, but it's not sure that this updated information is exactly a content information that you're receiving. What we are building now is leveraging on all our content and all, all of our network content to pro provide what we call an hashtag media information. So you will start to follow specific topics that you are interested in, and you will receive information through this specific topic, so fishing on the Bay Area. And you will receive push or pull information based on the topic when there is a news coming on, or on our pub, mm, publisher network, or one of, of our site, or coming from a tweet or other information specific on the topics that you want to follow. And this is, Scaling on what we have is an evolution that we see, and it's very easy to monetize then because it's very targeted advertising from the users. Thank you. <laughs>